Welcome to this screencast about configuring WebLogic cache nodes and active cache. We start with an empty domain. Create two managed servers. Create a machine to use Node Manager later on. Now let's set up two coherent servers. Assign the coherent server to the WebLogic machine. Finally create a coherence cluster. Multicast will be used for the members to detect each other. Set the target to the managed servers. There is another step required you must configure class path and startup parameter. Deploy the necessary shared libraries. Active cache is using relative reference to other libraries, so deploy without staging. Start the node manager. Start the coherence servers. Start the managed servers. Deploy our demo application to show session replication.
Make sure it deploys correctly. Check it is active. Double check the coherence server start up. There are two servers as members. Make sure local storage is enabled. Verify managed service startup and application deployment. Verify the coherence details for the managed servers. Let's examine the details of the application. WebLogic XML references the coherence web SPI and the coherence cluster name. Active cache and coherence libraries are loaded via entries in the manifest file. Thanks for watching. Let's stay in touch.